Hey there, Super Llama here. Um, today we're going to be picking this uh, challenge lock pinned up by Sidewinder. Hopefully you guys liked my little intro there. Um, just decided I th it would be nice to put the uh, the lock with the snake, considering that was his little uh, logo there. The lock does work. Works better going right than it does uh, going left. It takes a little bit of wiggling. Um, but I did manage to get into it once. Let's see if we can do it again. Gonna go with my uh, 20,000 stuff horse diamond. It's my usual go to. Um, felt a little give on four or five. Feels like to ease up tension. Get a click at him. Another click. Another click and a little core movement. Getting something off of four or five. Another click off of him. Feels like, is that one? Yeah, it's one. Click on one. Click on two. Feels like three. Click on three. Feels like three again. Counter rotation and click. A little farther on the core. We'll click on one. Feels like three again. More, more uh, core rotation. Three again, counter rotation. And a little bit more. Got a nice, oop, I don't know what I touched there. Maybe it was a T pin on four. And barely touched five, and we're open. Awesome. Awesome, awesome locked uh, sidewinder. Let's see what's in this thing. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, flatheads, okay. Is this one gonna fit? Doesn't look like it. Actually, it does. Awesome, and I have a key, so I'm gonna lock it back up. Get to show off my shiny new follower set I got from Sparrows now. That looks like it'll fit just fine. I should have a better shim here. That should do it. Key pins are up. And there we go. So we got here five pins. Looking nasty already. Everything is well below the uh, shear line with the exception of five getting kind of close there. Looking like an overset trap. Is that a ball bearing? Um, that must have been between the driver and the key pin there. I'll have to take a look at the video after to uh, make sure. Oh, there's another ball bearing. I think the... Let me take a look through the light here for a second. No, the ball bearings are on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see through there very well. But the ball bearings are on the bottom. Probably not, but 
Yes, those ball bearings are all on the bottom. Okay, very, very interesting. Wow. Every single one of them's got a ball bearing. That is cool. It doesn't look like he's done any extra modifications to the core. Maybe widened them ever so slightly in the chambers to allow the ball bearings to fit, or he's found proper size ball bearings. Um, the plug, let's see here. Threading on five looks like it's been oversized ever so slightly on four. Looks possibly undercut on three. No, it is all standard. Two is threaded, one is standard. Very nice. And what do we have up top? Standard on one, but I'm seeing something that looks like maybe one's been wallowed out to allow for a deeper false set. Looks like a single copper spring. Get off of there. Thank you. Two is a remake of those uh, Asa old style gin bottle spools. We'll get a close up on that after. amongst my pile of locks from Chris. I saw it shoot over. I'll find it when I finish up here. That was just a copper spring from what I saw. This looks like a key pin that's been turned into a spool. Looks like a stronger copper spring, that one. T-pin. That one does not want to come out. Another copper spring. Five is another standard. And another copper spring. Give me one second here. I want to try and find that other copper spring. Right, I like to have everything all, there it is. Everything all together. Okay, and what do we have going on upstairs? We've got, yes, one has got, it's been wallowed out quite a lot. Let's see if I can get this to focus. I have to think about how that would work out. Um, key pin one is a T pin. Not quite sure how that would work. There wasn't anything fancy done on chamber one there. Hmm. Perhaps try and give a deeper false set, but that's a, a standard. I'm not sure what uh, Sidewinder was going for on that one. Uh, what do we got on two? Feels left alone. What about three? Not feeling anything there. Four, not feeling anything there. And I got on five, it's got that wallowed out sides. And that one was also standard, so I'm not sure what he was going for on that. Sidewinder, I know you do watch my videos. If you could uh, answer what you were trying to do with that, I have no idea what that would uh, 
would do. But another picker's view is always appreciated. Um, but in any case, this is Sidewinder's lock here. It is going to take me a little bit of time to put all these fiddly ball bearings back into place here. Back in there. It's been quite fun. I haven't had a, a fun little challenge lock like this in a while. Doesn't look like that goes anywhere. The keep in was a. Uh, oh, actually, I'll. Uh, ball bearing. There. Oh. Let me see here. You go like that, and you're like that. Yep. Okay, let me get the light a little bit closer here. I'll get a close-up first, and then I'll populate the, uh, the chambers again. So we have... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, all the bottoms had ball bearings uh, to interact with the key. Um, and then the T-pin was sticking up here for the key pin. This is just a, a standard small driver that was in there as a key pin for a standard. And again, a standard key pin here. This one was another standard with a T-pin like that. Like that. So it would sit up. And five had a T-pin facing upwards for the key pin with some other little spooly serration looking things going on there. Nice. I like that one. Up top, standard T-pin facing down. Um, spool in three. Uh, gin bottle uh, in two. And a standard in one. minutes here while I get, uh, get all this put back together so that way I can show you the core all populated and put together. Good thing there's only five pins in here. I think I go mental with six. You are the T pin facing up. Right? No, I don't think so. Definitely gave some odd feeling, I'll give it that. I'm just gonna take off my sweater here. <clears throat> oh wow, that one's way down there. That's right at sheer. That's playing a dangerous game there. Okay, well, that is uh, the lock all put together. Chamber 2 is populated entirely, but it's actually at the shear line, and if the camera would focus, I could show you. There. That's a very dangerous game that's, that we're playing there on, too. Any wrong move, and you can end up with uh, well, a spring like this, where it gets trapped. All in all, awesome lock. Sidewinder, thank you for making this lock. Chris Ahrens, thank you for sending this lock to me. It's been a good, fun pick, and I enjoyed making a little intro for it. It's been fun. Alright guys, thanks for watching.